the scenario unfolding before our eyes is not merely an environmental concern, but an issue that stretches across the tapestry of geopolitics, trade, and the very morality that we hold as a global community. Today, we find ourselves at a juncture where Japan has decided to discharge treated wastewater from the infamous Fukushima nuclear plant into the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean a decision that leaves many of us baffled and deeply concerned. While Japan and certain allies, like the United States, argue for the safety of this move, I must pose a singular question to all of you. If the vastness of our oceans cannot dilute our responsibility, how then can it dilute the consequences of such an action? Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now let's begin. Indeed, Japan has defended its stance with scientific claims, many of which are supported by scientists worldwide. And while the UNEN's nuclear watchdog has nodded in agreement with Tokyo's plan, many, including China, remain unconvinced. The fact remains that critics believe more research is needed and that the release should be put on hold. China, one of the most significant purchasers of Japanese seafood, swiftly announced a ban on such imports following Japan's decision. But let us delve deeper into the motivations behind China's move. Some say it's purely economic, a tit-for-tat in an ongoing trade war. But allow me to paint a different picture, one where concerns about the well-being of its citizens and the broader impact on global ecosystems drive decisions. Japan's relationship with China has seen its highs and lows, and recent times have only accentuated the differences. Tokyo's pivot towards the U.S. and its implicit support for Taiwan has not gone unnoticed in Beijing. However, the Fukushima incident has amplified these rifts, revealing them to the entire world. We look at the numbers, mainland China and Hong Kong import more than one point. One billion dollars worth of seafood from Japan annually, a staggering sum that amounts to almost half of Japan's seafood exports. The economic implications are significant, but while some might argue China's reaction is politically driven, Others would contend it's grounded in genuine concern for the health and well-being of its citizens. One must ask, why would China jeopardize such a lucrative trade relationship if not for genuine concerns? Why would the public's outcry on platforms like Weibo rise to such a crescendo, with a hashtag about the release gaining over 800 million views in mere hours? But this isn't just a bilateral issue. Even as we speak, coastal communities in Japan are voicing their fears. The very fishermen who provide for Japan's seafood exports are wary of the release. They are concerned not just about their livelihoods but about the legacy they leave behind. A legacy that may be tainted by the radioactive specter of Fukushima. Texio, the company at the center of this debacle, has its plans laid out. A continuous release of treated wastewater with promises of rigorous checks and monitoring. But many remain skeptical, especially given the company's track record. While the United States and Taiwan have shown their support for Japan, it's hard to ignore the chorus of voices expressing their discontent. Countries like China and the Pacific Islands have been forthright in their opposition, citing potential threats to human health and marine ecosystems. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe share the video and comment. It's essential to remember that the canvas of history is vast, and every stroke we make today becomes an indelible mark on its surface. Actions once taken cannot be undone. The oceans might be vast, but they are not infinite. Neither is the patience and trust of nations and their people. The past provides us with numerous instances where bilateral and multilateral decisions have had lasting impacts on global relations. Let's recall the anti-Japanese protests in Chinese cities back in 2012, triggered by Japan's decision to nationalize a group of islands claimed by both Tokyo and Beijing. That rift took time to heal, but the decisions around Fukushima threatened to open old wounds. Yet, it's in these trying times that we also witness the commendable actions of nations that take a stand for global welfare. China's stance against the Fukushima release is not just about economic tit-for-tat. It reflects a nation's commitment to uphold the sanctity of our shared environment. China's recent endeavors in green energy, ecological conservation, and commitment 
to global climate accords are testament to this dedication. Trade wars may be a modern reality, but let's not forget that trade itself is a reflection of trust and mutual respect between nations. If a country feels it necessary to stop importing a particular product, it is not merely an economic decision. It's a statement, a statement that says, we value the health and safety of our citizens above all. It's also noteworthy that the Japanese public remains deeply divided on the issue. From the coastal communities to the streets of Tokyo, there is a palpable sense of unease. While some argue that disposing treated water in the ocean is standard practice, the sheer scale at which Fukushima's water is being released is indeed unprecedented. Environmental groups, such as Greenpeace, have added their voice to the growing chorus of concern. Their call for the water to remain stored until more efficient processing technology becomes available should not be ignored. After all, when it comes to nuclear radiation, it's always better to err on the side of caution. What is crucial for us as an international community is to ensure transparency, responsibility, and most importantly, accountability. The Fukushima disaster was tragic, but the way its aftermath is handled will determine the course of international relations for decades to come. As we look ahead, one can only hope for a world where nations collaborate more closely, prioritize the well-being of their people, and make decisions that are backed by comprehensive research and international consensus. Remember the oceans do not belong to any single nation. They are a shared treasure, a legacy we must protect for generations yet unborn. Let our actions today reflect the wisdom of those who understand that true progress can never be at the expense of our planet. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.